Hey everybody, so today we're going to go over NPM, or Node Package Manager. Um, so maybe you're new to coding and you're not really quite sure uh, what this thing is that you've been seeing floating around the internet. Uh, different things have been telling you to install an NPM package and you're like, what is that? I don't understand uh, what that is. So today we're going to go over um, kind of like what this is, um, look up a certain package uh, to make a, a colorful um, terminal uh, text. Uh, that's kind of fun. Uh, it's pretty easy and we can go through the documentation together. Okay, so uh, one thing that I will assume that you've already done is installed Node.js. Um, you don't have to install NPM because it comes with Node. Um, but just in case, uh, make sure that you already have that. Okay, cool. So if you haven't already, go ahead and navigate to uh, npmjs.com. Um, cool, and you can see here uh, everything. So building amazing things. NPM is the package manager for JavaScript and the world's largest software registry. Discover packages of reusable code and assemble them in a powerful new way. So uh, NPM, like what, what these packages are, so as you're building your websites, you're probably not going to be building absolutely everything from scratch. Um, that would be incredibly tedious and take a really long time, and there's no um, use reinventing the wheel every single time that you code something. Um, so that's a reason why these NPMs are really helpful. Um, some popular ones are like the Create React app. I use that a lot in some of my other videos. Um, you can see down here, this is a list of the more popular ones, Express, Grunt, Gulp, um, and all that. Um, pretty great. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, and so we're going to kind of explain like what this all is as we're downloading one and um, so we can kind of see what it actually downloads and creates. So the package I'm going to use today is like chalk color, chalk anim animation. Cool, so here is this fun little chalk animation uh, plugin and um, I really like this one just because it's a little it's a little more fun um, and it's pretty instantaneous to see like what it does. It creates a rainbow um, in your uh, terminal there. So it's, it's pretty fun. So um, the first thing that we need to do is open up your terminal. Um, so here's this. Great. Um, and we are going to create, let's see, first of all, we're going to navigate to uh, wherever you want to create your um, folder uh, to hold this project. So I'm going to do that, YouTube, examples, cool. And just so you know, this um, little shortcut I'm using to uh, auto-complete everything is if you start typing uh, a name of something and hit tab, um, if there's not more than one, and if it's um, unique in that folder, it'll auto-complete it. So pretty cool. So YouTube examples, that's where I want to be. Um, and then to make a folder in there, we say mkdir, which is make directory. And uh, let's see, I'm just going to call this color animation. Cool. All right, so I've created a, um, if we say ls, we can see these um, different folders that are in there. Uh, you can see some of my other uh, YouTube examples. So now we can CD into color animation. All right, so LS and there's nothing in there. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna say clear and that is just gonna kind of take away that top stuff. Okay, all right. So the first thing that we gotta do when we do um, NPM uh, we have to say npm init, and it just kind of like gets it going. Um, and so it, it'll ask you some of these questions here. So name I, is color animation. I'm just going to say yes, so I hit enter. Version 1.0, that's great. Description, um, color um, change color of terminal text. 
Um, entry point index.js, yep. Uh, test command, just gonna hit enter, enter. Um, you can say your name, so I'm just gonna say coder check. License, I'm just gonna hit enter. Okay, everything okay? Yep, cool. And you can get more detailed in that um, in your own project, but cool, I'm just gonna say clear. All right, cool, so everything's there. So let's go ahead and look at this documentation. Um, so to install, we say npm install dash dash save chalk animation. So it's just as easy just to copy and paste this. Um, if you are new to this, this little dollar sign, all that means is in the terminal. Um, so don't copy paste that. If you see, like it'll say your name, and Daniel Saturday, and then it says the dollar sign, and then I put everything in. So paste that in, npm install. Okay, so before we hit enter on this to actually install this, I just quickly want to look at the folder to see what happened when we hit npm init and what it created, because we've created no other files in there. So let's go to the finder and then navigate to your color animation folder. And if you see here, it's created this file called package.json. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so you can see here that it is basically everything that we just entered in there. So name, color animation, and it's uh, our description is there. Um, Index.js is going to go to author, it'll have your name, license, so on and so forth. So what this package.json is, is basically just the metadata for your application that you are creating. So it's all of your information that it holds and it also has the whole list um, of NPN modules that you download, um, as well as all of the dependencies that your program needs to run. Um, so we will soon discover that after we actually install one. So. Let's go back here. All right, back to our terminal and let's hit enter. Cool, it's installing. Great, looks great. All right, now let's go back to our finder. And ta-da, it says node modules. Pretty cool. So you can see it has all of these um, information and stuff. You don't need to do anything with this. Um, uh, this is just all of the code that um, this particular package needs. Um, and each time that you download a new NPM, it just adds it into this folder. So now if we go back to the package.json, um, you can see dependencies, chalk animation, right there. Pretty cool that it just automatically does all of that, right? Awesome, cool. All right, so that's good to go. Now, um, Let's see, the next thing we have to do, let's go back here. It's confusing, uh, hold on. Let me just open up this entire folder. Cool, so I'm opening up the entire folder in uh, my uh, editor so then I can add stuff to it more easily. So now we see the node modules folder and the package stuff. Dot JSON. So right now we're going to create that index.js file. Cool, so it's right there. Pretty great. Uh, pretty easy. Okay, so now that that's there, because that's our quote entry point uh, for our package here, uh, let's go ahead and look at the documentation. Um, some documentation is better than others. I like this one. Uh, it's pretty easy to follow. Um, and so this doesn't actually create anything on a web page or anything. It literally only changes the text in your uh, terminal. So uh, we don't need to create an HTML or anything. So, all right. All right, so here what we need to do is we need to say const chalk animation equals require chalk animation. And so what this piece of line code is going to be doing is importing our module and saying that, hey, we want to use our chalk animation um, text, or excuse me, code in this file right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and type that out. So const, let's see, 
what does it say? Chalk animation equals require. Okay. Chalk dash animation. Cool. And in case you're unfamiliar, const is a ES6, uh, just means it's a constant um, variable name that it will never change. Okay. All right. So let's go back here. And let's see, so this seems like the easiest um, little thing that it does. You say chalk animation dot rainbow, um, which is this right there. And then it just looks like it gives some dummy text in there. All right, so let's go ahead and try something. So chalk animation dot, right? So we're using this um this variable name here okay so chalk animation dot rainbow and then we're gonna put some text so it says let's see i'll just put all the colors of the rainbow okay all right cool so now let's go back to our terminal here i'm gonna hit clear so get rid of all that other text so to run something in to test your um, JavaScript in terminal uh, what you do is that so we are already in the folder for color animation here so all we have to say is node index index.js and it'll run and look at that it says all the colors of the rainbow pretty cool um, that was really easy to do um, just to make that happen. Um, so it looks like there's other things that we can do. Uh, we can probably try, let's see what glitch does. Let's try that. Save it there. All right, and to exit out of node, you say control C and it exits, okay? So now let's run it again. Look at that, it's glitching, cool. So you can try out all of these if you want. Um, let's see. So it looks like there's also animation stops and animation resumes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this uh, timeout thing going. Uh, so if we kind of look at their example here, it looks like they have another variable, const rainbow equals um, the animation. Basically, it's equaling uh, this information up here from before. Um, and then using that variable down here in their uh, in their function and dot stop to make it stop. And then it says comma a thousand milliseconds. So let's go ahead and give that a go. Um, instead of rainbow, let's just say glitch. So const glitch equals. Okay. All right. So then we say set time out. Um, let's see. So this is ES6 here, by the way. The fat arrow. Let's see, and then we use our variable name, dot stop. Okay. Then we say comma after the curly bracket, and then we give how many milliseconds we want it to stop after. Okay. Cool, so... Looks about right. Let's give it a go. Cool. So, um, because I had already exited out of this, so node index.js. So it's glitching, it's going, and then it stops. That's it. Pretty cool. So, uh, as you can see, we kind of followed along uh, with some documentation. Um, there's plenty of other different packages that you can use. Um, this is just a fun little simple one to. Um, kind of get you going on and uh, I don't know maybe uh, you'll make one of these yourselves and be able to share a package to help others so pretty great pretty cool I hope this helped you guys and will help you on your further projects